Hello everyone and welcome to Stock Unlock. This is going to be a very quick video guiding you through our platform and all of our features. This video will also be broken up into different sections based on our features. So if you would like to learn more about a specific feature, then just check out the timeline bar and click where you would like to watch. With that said, let's now start the tutorial. Right now, we are on the homepage, which is the first page that you will see when you sign in. The homepage shows you how different indexes are performing on the day, such as the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. You will also get a quick view of your watch list if you have a watch list already made. Your most recent searches, the trending stocks being searched on Stock Unlock, and important news regarding the stock market today. We also have quotes from legendary investors at the top of the homepage. These quotes are updated daily and come from investors such as Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Peter Lynch. We believe these quotes will help turn you into a better investor by focusing on the fundamentals of businesses instead of what stock prices are currently doing. But now, let's head away from the homepage by clicking on one of my recently viewed stocks, which is Adobe. This will bring us over to the stock's general page, which has key data that investors care about, such as the historical stock price, the market cap, the price to earnings ratio, and more. By the way, if you do not know what any of these numbers mean, or you are feeling overwhelmed at any point on stock unlock, then don't worry, we have you covered. We built something called Education Mode, which is accessed through a toggle at the top of your screen, and you can turn it on or off at any point. When Education Mode is turned on, you will see little blue question marks pop up all over our platform. You can then click on any of these question marks to get an in-depth, easy-to-understand explanation on every piece of information, such as what the metric is, how it is calculated, how investors use it, and even sometimes some tips on how you can use the data better. So if you are ever curious about a piece of information or you want to learn more about how you can use it, then make sure to turn on education mode. Our mission here at Stock Unlock is to turn you into a better and more profitable investor. And education mode is just one way that we do that. But now let's get back to the general tab. Here you can also see our Stock Unlock Insights scores. Our platform analyzes and grades the fundamentals and financials of over 130,000 stocks from all over the world. We then report that score right here. The higher the score, the better. If you scroll down, you can also see any recent news related to the stock you're currently looking at. It's different insight segment scores, such as the growth, the financial health, and the profitability. You will also see its most recent revenue, earnings, and free cash flow growth. What analyst price targets are, if analysts are currently recommending the stock, and stocks that are similar to the one that you're currently looking at so you can get some more stock ideas. The general tab is like the hub of a stock. It's the place where you can see a lot of key data and then go explore the stock further. So let's go do that and let's check out Adobe's Insights now. Our Insights tab breaks down the business's financials and scores all of the key data investors care about. We then break down this data into different segments, such as the business's profitability, financial health, growth, and even what analysts are saying about the stock. We built our insight scoring system based on the lessons and learnings from Warren Buffett and many other legendary investors. And if you ever want to learn more about why we are scoring an insight the way we do, then you can click on any one of them to learn more about it. The Insights tab is incredibly useful and powerful, as it gives you a quick but in-depth look into the business's financials and saves you a ton of time on your analyzation of the company. However, our insights are not meant to be taken as buy or sell recommendations. They're meant to show you the fundamentals of the business and highlight the things you should know about it so you can do more research if you choose to. Just because a stock has a high insight score does not mean it's guaranteed to be a great investment. And just because a stock may have a low insight score does not mean that it's guaranteed to be a bad one. But now let's move on to our next major tab, which is the financials tab. This is where you will find the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement, and key metrics about the business, such as its margins. Stock Unlock has 20 years of financial data. And by clicking on any row in our financials tab, you will bring up a chart which is incredibly helpful to see the long-term growth of the company. And again, if you do not know what any of these metrics mean, then you can simply turn on education mode and hit the question marks to get their explanations and learn how to better use them. Our next tab is our dividends tab. And here we can see that Adobe does not pay any dividends. So our data here is mostly blank. So let's go over to Apple's stock since Apple pays dividends and we can view more data about its dividends. So now we can see all of the key dividend data for Apple, such as its current dividend yield, its dividend growth rate over the past five years, 
its payout ratio, and even its Dividend Insights score. You can even see the returns any stock has offered, including its dividends over time, which is known as the stock's total returns. For example, we can see here that since 2012, Apple stock has produced returns of about 750%, but including dividends, the stock has returned nearly 800%. This means that Apple's dividends have returned an additional 50% to shareholders over the past 10 years and has massively outperformed the overall S&P 500 index, which we also show in this same chart. There is a ton of very useful dividend specific information on this tab, and we built it specifically for dividend investors or those looking to analyze dividend stocks. Our next tab is the analyst tab. This tab shows you what analysts are currently thinking about the stock, such as their price targets, their recommendations, their revenue and earnings estimates, and more. It's always nice to know what analysts are currently thinking about a stock, but please keep in mind that analysts are only human, and they can be wrong about a stock too. At Stock Unlock, we do not recommend buying or selling stocks based solely on what analysts are saying, or what their price targets on a stock may be. Moving on to our last tab though, this is our Insiders tab. The Insiders tab shows you if insiders are buying or selling their positions in the stock, and if so, how much they are buying or selling. It also shows you the ownership of the company, so you can see if insiders or hedge funds own large positions in the business as well. It's really useful to see if insiders are buying or selling their shares, and this tab will show you all of that information. Now, our next major feature is our portfolio tracker, and full disclosure, at the time of recording this, our portfolio tracker is still in its beta testing and being developed, but we believe it is time to add this into our site demo video since we plan on releasing it very soon. So here it is. At the top of the portfolio tab, you will see all of the key information about your portfolio, such as your portfolio value, your cash position, your date change to your investments, and your total gain on all of your investments. On the overview tab, you can see your portfolio's diversification and your portfolio stock unlock insights score by switching between the two. You can also view your portfolio's value over time, compare it to the S&P 500 and view your total percent change. We will be adding more charts to the selections over time as well. If you continue scrolling down, then you will see a table of all of your positions. This table is awesome because you can change the columns in the table based on what information you care about and want to see. For example, if you're a dividend investor, then you can change the columns to show the dividend yields of all of your stocks. But personally, I take out the dividend yield. You can also sort every column from highest to lowest by clicking on it. For example, if I want to see the stocks in my portfolio with the highest stock unlock insight scores, then I can do so simply by clicking here. Our portfolio table also has its own drop down menu for every single position. By dropping down the position, you will be able to see its in depth stock unlock insight scores, its stock price chart over time, and some of its key metrics. But now let's move on to the breakdowns tab. This shows you your portfolio diversification based on your holdings, their industries, and their countries. You can easily see how your portfolio is diversified here on the breakdowns tab. On our portfolio's dividends tab, you can see how much of your portfolio is in dividend stocks, non-dividend stocks, and cash. For example, you can see here that this portfolio in specific is 61% invested in dividend paying stocks. You can also view your portfolio's dividend income, its dividend yield, and its dividend yield on cost. Moving down, you can see your dividend income breakdown and visually see which stocks you own that make up most of your dividend payments. You can also see which stocks are going to pay you your dividends over the next year, how much they are going to pay you. This bar chart essentially shows you your next year's dividend income, how much it is, and when you can expect it. The table below shows you both your past and future dividend income. This portfolio here as an example is new, so I don't have any dividend income from before 2022. But if you do, then this is where you will see it. At the bottom here, you can also view what sectors are paying you your dividends and when they are going to pay you. Then finally, you can also see which countries your dividend income is coming from. Let's now move on to the last tab in the portfolios, which is the activities tab. This tab will show you what stocks you have bought and sold, the dividends you have received, your cash additions and withdrawals, and any buys and sells insiders are making in these stocks that you own in your portfolio. This is a fantastic tab for keeping up to date with all of the activity going on within your personal portfolio. Now let's move on to our next major feature, which is our stock unlock insights screener. This is probably one of the most powerful and useful screeners on the internet because it filters all of the results and ranks them based on our stock unlock insights scores. 
That way you can easily screen the stocks you're looking for, then also see which ones are the highest rated here on Stock Unlock and which ones have the best fundamentals. This allows you to quickly and easily find the most fundamentally sound businesses within your search while also avoiding the ones with the worst fundamentals, which significantly decreases your research time and allows you to find the best stocks more quickly. We also have a full dedicated video on how to use our screener, so if you're looking for an in-depth explanation, then you can check out that video on our channel. Now let's move on to our watch list feature. This is where you can create your own watch list of stocks and then share it with other members of Stock Unlock. Once you share your watch list, it will then be visible in the public tab. This is also where you can find and follow other users' watch lists. For example, I have shared my personal watch lists with all of my notes and price targets and you can follow and unfollow them. This is just one way that we allow our users to interact with each other and share their research so everyone else can benefit. The next tool is our freeform tool. This is another very useful tool for quickly and easily comparing any number of stocks or metrics against one another. For example, we can graph Microsoft's revenue growth over the past 20 years and clearly see that Microsoft has grown massively over this time. Now, if we want to compare Microsoft's revenue growth to a company like Google, then all we need to do is type in Google here. Now, on the chart, we can see the revenue growth of both Google and Microsoft, and we can clearly see that Google has grown its revenue much faster than Microsoft over the past 20 years. We can also graph the company's free cash flow growth by typing in free cash flow over here and adding it in to our chart. The Freeform tool is one of our more advanced tools, but it is incredibly powerful for analyzing and comparing stocks against one another. It also has over 90 different metrics that you can use to compare on any number of stocks. It is truly a limitless tool. Our final tool is our discounted cash flow calculator or our DCF. This is another incredibly powerful tool that helps you understand a stock's valuation and if it is currently cheap or expensive. This tool is absolutely amazing and we made a full tutorial on exactly how to use it. So make sure you watch our tutorial video if you would like to better understand how to use it and get the most value out of it. That is all for our demo video of Stock Unlock though. And thank you so much for taking the time to check us out and watch this tutorial. If you would like to come join our Discord community of other Stock Unlock members or interact with the founders of the platform, then there will be a link in the description to this video as well. If you also have any suggestions or feedback, then you can send us an email over at support at stockunlock.com and we will make sure we read it and get back to you. With all that being said, thank you again so much for checking out Stock Unlock, and we really hope you enjoy our platform.